بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Brothers and sisters, we are here today in the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. This is my Friday kufa. It is May twenty seventh. Today in this kufa, I would like to be talking about me, my personal journey, how we can relate to our brothers and sisters that possibly go through this. Uh, certain things and um, also find struggle in these in these things. Okay, so what I am noticing right now is that we might be seeking out a sister. Maybe your sister is seeking out a brother, and you're looking for a relationship and you want to engage, but the person is of other culture and um, this can deal with the fear of change perhaps they are not used to you being an Arab and maybe they are not Muslim but they are of people of the book and she is maybe open to Islam or he is maybe open to Islam the one who you are seeking um, to arrange a marriage with is of um, of faith, um, of submission to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, or of submission to uh, looking to submit themselves to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So, when they are not Muslim, when they are of different culture, they possibly are going to have a lot of fear of change. Not only them, but their family has a lot of fear of change. And you have to be careful with this because what I personally went through recently is now that we noticed she speaks about her father, she speaks about her mother, she says, they do not like Islam. They do not like Islam because they say they are not Arabs. But here I have text to tell you, Islam is not only for the Arabs. Islam is for everybody. Here in verse, in Surah 30, Ayah 22, in the Quran it says, And among his wonders is the creation of the heavens and the earth and diversity of tongues and colors. For in this, behold, there are messages indeed for all who are possessed of innate knowledge. So here in this in this verse, in this ayah, in this surah, in the Quran, it says, Behold, we have created you. I mean, among his wonders is the creation of the heavens and the earth and diversity of the tongues and the colors. Is the creation of the heavens in this life is the creation of the heavens and the earth and among it is people of different tongues different languages and different colors and there are messages indeed for everybody there's messages indeed for everybody in this world that speak to the innate knowledge to the to the fitra of anybody you can be any color, you can you can be any you can speak any language. Islam will speak to the innate knowledge that one has within their own self about their fitra in in this life. So why did this be why do these people feel so way towards me without even knowing me? Without understanding Islam. This is pride, this is arrogance. Surah 16, 20, Ayah 23 in the Quran it says, Without a doubt, Allah knows that what, what they conceal and what they reveal. 
He certainly does not like those people who are too pr proud. Psst. Afuera. 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 He certainly like, does not like those those people who are too proud. This is pride. This is arrogance. It's not like Islam. Because to claim it is only for the arrogance. Knowingly. That Islam is not only practiced by Arabs, Islam is practiced all around the world. Many tongues, many, many colors. So we might find it difficult to understand this. Uh, here's another one, a hadith. I want you to know that Okay. Verily, Allah has removed you from the pride of the time of the ignorance with his boasting of ancestors. Verily, one is only a righteous believer or a miserable sinner. All of the people are children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. So know this. Be aware of this. Allah has removed us from the pride of the time of ignorance. Where we live in the time of information. We're living in the time of information. With, with the boasting of ancestors. It's not like before where we boast about the ancestors. But if you come about this, these people who, who are living in the time of ignorance, ignorance and boasting of their ancestors, verily, one is only a righteous believer or a miserable sinner. That's the next line in the hadith by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of the people are children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. Halas, the sin. Everybody's all the same. We all created from Adam, we all created from dust. So, subhanAllah, you have to understand. We have to know the worth of ourselves. We were created from dust. You understand? You don't have to stand for nothing. You don't have to, you don't have to keep trying to make another person change. If they have so much fear of change, if they would want to change, they could change. You can speak to them, you can bring these, 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 these situations to them, but... They don't want to change. It's not up to you to change them. You know, move on because what they don't understand is this al hadith by Prophet Allah O oh, people, your Lord is one, and your father Adam is one. There is no favor of an Arab over a foreigner, no a foreigner over an Arab, and neither white skin or black skin, nor black skin over white skin, except by righteousness. Have a night. Have I not delivered the message? Has he not delivered the message? The message is here. In the Quran, Surah 49, Ayah 13. O oh man, behold, we have created you out of male and female, and we have made into you nations and tribes so that you may come to know one another. Verily, the noblest of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is the most deepest conscious of him. Behold, Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. So, of the, many nations in, of the many nations and tribes, the noblest of you in the sight of Allah is the one who is deeply conscious of him. The noblest is the one who's deeply conscious of him. So, brothers and sisters, seek out. If you are speaking to somebody of a different nation, of a different tribe, seek out the noblest of them. The one who's deeply understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understands this fitrah that has in them maybe from different deen, different culture, different religion. But if they have, if they are of the highest nobility, they will have the taqwa for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will have a good understanding of Allah and be conscious of Him. Um, lastly, I want to speak about 
the submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Islam. So, there's this fear of change. The children of the parents who hold this arrogance towards the Arabs that are in Islam are seeking knowledge about Islam and due to the arrogance and the pridefulness and the racism of these people that are, that, that are practicing tribalism, practicing the perseverance of their culture and, and uh, race, their children are not submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The children are seeking the information of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They, 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 through, through the deen of Islam, but they are not allowed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are not allowed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the arrogance of their fathers and their mothers. Because of the lies their mothers and their fathers speak to them. And that's uh That's spoken about many times in, throughout the Quran. The lies that the father that spoke is the reason why they believe in the that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a tree. Finally. Uh, should not never fear how to submit yourself, your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should never fear. You should always seek out this information through Islam. You should do this because this is going to be what fortifies your relationship and makes you tight with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what makes you uh, solid in your beliefs and your values. The habitual force that Islam uh, offers you is something that, that, that creates an airtight lock between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one else can get close to you. No one else can get in between. Um, so submission through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're seeking that, brothers and sisters, maybe you, 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 you know you might feel like you don't need to hear this, but hear this. Submission through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts with the five pillars. And the five pillars is like, imagine we have a structure in our house. And there's five pillars that hold the house up. These are the five pillars of Islam. And the five pillars of Islam is the gateway for you to begin to learn about the deen. If you practice these them as, as much as you can seek to know more about the five pillars of Islam to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah you will be content and fulfilled with the goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for you and his design through the deen of Islam and inshallah you'll have no fear and for all those out there that are seeking to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Islam and um, may they have no fear of this change and may they be open and embrace the deen with more information for, uh, for them to learn and may they grow, may they prosper, may they do well and may Allah bring them to success so um, don't fear Islam is not just for the Arabs and submission to Allah can be done through Islam. So if you feel the will to walk the path, walk it. Don't be scared. Uh, there's nothing to fear.